So we have a big potential breakthrough in clean energy technology. This was reported out by the Washington Post based on a new paper and some development here. Take a look at this. They say scientists find way to make energy from air using nearly any material. Let me read from this report because otherwise I will butcher the breakthrough here. They say nearly any material can be used to turn the energy in air humidity into electricity Scientists found in a discovery that could lead to continuously producing clean energy with little pollution. That research, which was published in a paper in Advanced Materials, builds on 2020 work that first showed energy could be pulled from the moisture in the air using material harvested from bacteria. The new study shows nearly any material, such as wood or silicon, can be used as long as it can be smashed into small particles and remade with microscopic pores, there are many questions about how to scale the product. That is the primary um, sort of impediment here. The device itself is really super tiny, size of a fingernail, thinner than a single hair. It's dotted with tiny holes known as nanopores. They have a diameter smaller than 100 nanometers or less than a thousandth of the width of a strand of human hair. And what they envision is that you could have roughly a billion of these things, which are called air gens, stacked to be about the size of a refrigerator, and that could produce enough energy to at least partially power a home in, they say, ideal conditions. They imagine because you can use any material and because it's so small, it could be in the paint in the walls. This is all I understand it to be mm. a ways off, but still exciting when you have this kind of possibility, when you have this type of research that is being undertaken with, you know, at least some sliver of a chance that it could completely transform the way that we do energy production. I'm both excited and also skeptical, if that makes sense. I think that's uh, fair. Just because it's one of those where it's like, yeah, it definitely sounds, I remember at one point I lived in Texas near Houston. I met a guy who had a system which pulled moisture out of the air because it's so humid in Houston to like for water. And I remember like, oh, that's cool. And then it turned out it was like thousands of dollars and it didn't generate that much water. Yeah. And also it used a lot of electricity to get such, so I was like, like, oh, well, is this really that much better? No, so you need economies of scale and all of that. That said, I mean, the idea basically that this thing is basically the size, what, of a refrigerator and it could produce a kilowatt and power a home in ideal conditions, I mean, that sounds fantastic, like if that's something that could genuinely be pulled off. So I, the only thing I just don't really understand is how any material can be used to turn the energy and air humidity into electricity. I don't understand how every material is able to basically pull off this, yeah. this conversion. So I guess power. it's more the nature of the holes in the material right. versus what the material itself is. They oh. say the tiny holes allow the water in the air, so the humidity right. in the air, to pass through in a way that creates a charge imbalance in the upper and par lower parts of the device, effectively creating a battery that runs continuously. We are opening up a wide door for harvesting clean electricity from thin air, said one of the authors and a UMass engineering graduate student. So I guess the reason you can use anything is because it's less about whether it's wood or metal or plastic or mm -hmm. paint or whatever it is, and more about the design of how these tiny, tiny holes are um, inserted into uh, the way out of my depth so here, guys, uh, but yeah. that's what I'm understanding from the uh, article. <laughs> Yeah, I don't sounds really get cool. it. It sounds cool. <laughs> it sounds like you can just put stick a thing anywhere and you can just get limitless power, which yeah. would be awesome because it would open up basically everybody. I mean, to imagine be off it's the grid. in the paint in the walls. Yeah, it'd be amazing. And powers your whole house. Right. That's for, like free world just, stuff. I don't want to be on the grid. I don't like the grid. I don't like to be connected to uh, society and civilization. So would you the, have to be on the grid for that? Uh, I don't. I don't think so. It right? sounds like you, you could be you the power. It could, it could sit in your house and it could generate it for your, or at the very least, be, it would be a lot easier than the current like way to get off the grid is basically, I mean, it's not impossible, it just costs a lot of money. Um, and it's prohibitive for people who don't necessarily want to. So this seems like it would make it more available and easier and also open up huge swaths of territory which are much harder to populate because yeah, sure. you would have access to, if you combine this with like a Starlink, I mean, you really just, you opened up huge swaths, not only the country, the whole world. I like I that idea. Awesome. I like that idea, yeah. yeah. Imagine not having to deal with oil politics mm -hmm. and all of the like, disaster and war that that causes. Imagine, you know, being able to reverse the impact of climate change. Imagine having energy that is really, really cheap, practically free, 
I mean, that would be an incredible world to live in. So we'll keep our fingers crossed and keep an eye on these little developments. Hope it works out. Hey guys, ready or not, 2024 is fully upon us now. And Sagar and I have been brainstorming ways that we can really up our game for this critical election. Yeah, we rely on our premium subs to expand our coverage, to add staff, to upgrade the studio. We just want to give you the best independent coverage of this election, which is possible. So if you can help us out, become a premium subscriber today, breakingpoints.com, or the link is down here in the description video. It really means the world to us. And if you like what we're all about, this is the best possible way to keep us 100% independent, working only for you.